everyone, I'm Clay Caldwell with the TDOT Safety Team, and welcome to another edition of Safety Monday. In the wake of the tragic events that unfolded during the first week of this month, we felt the need to address the topic of active shooter situations in public places, often referred to as mass shootings, due to the number of lives that are affected. These situations can be different from acts of domestic violence or from active shooter situations in the workplace as they typically occur in public places where there can be tens, hundreds, or even thousands of people gathered together. This chart, generated from data collected by the news magazine Mother Jones, shows just how dramatically the number of mass shootings has increased in recent years. And sadly, this map demonstrates that there are very few places that are safe from a potential attack. Two events have taken place here in Tennessee within the past five years alone. As with every safety risk, the best way to prevent injuries is to be able to recognize the hazard and be trained on how to protect you from that hazard. Fortunately, there are multiple resources for information on how to prevent, detect, and respond to an active shooter situation. The U.S. Department of Homeland Security has an entire website dedicated to educating the public on how to be prepared if and when they should encounter one of these terrible events. Here are just a few good practices for coping with an active shooter situation that are shown in their How to Respond guide. Be aware of your environment and any possible dangers. Take note of the two nearest exits in any facility you visit as soon as you arrive. If you hear what may be gunshots and you're in an office, restroom, or dressing room, stay there and secure the door. If you're in a hallway, get into a room and secure the door. For additional information on recognizing, preventing, and responding to active shooter situations, visit the Homeland Security website at the web address shown on the screen, as well as the additional video in this course. We strongly encourage you to have a conversation with your loved ones about being vigilant in public settings and how they can be better prepared for dealing with these types of situations. The right decision at the right time just might save a life. Have a safe week and please remember who you are working safely for. <laughs>